Hi, it's Chester Tupple at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to do percentage calculations in Excel. So let's start off with this scenario. We've got 102 members of staff, 73 of which are female, 29 of which are male. And we want to find out what percentage of staff are female and what percentage of staff are male. Now to do this, basically you use division. So it's often, well not always, but it's often the smaller number divided by the larger number. I press enter. So I get a decimal answer and I need to display that as a percentage value. Um, two main ways of doing that. You can go up to your home tab on your ribbon. You can use this percent style button and you can increase or decrease decimal places using these buttons over here. Alternatively, if I just undo that, a shortcut key is Control shift 5 to apply the percentage format, Control shift 5 So there's the same down here. I want to find out what 29 is as a percentage of 102. I just divide the two numbers and apply the percentage format, increase decimal places if needed. Okay, let's look at the next scenario. So I've got our products here. I've got the wholesale price for each product and I've got the markup as a percentage value. I want to work out what the markup is as a monetary value. So I need to find out what 47% of £25 is. So this is multiplication of its times in maths. So if I'm saying 47% of 25 is 47% times 25. So I'm going to say 25 times 47%. And I get the answer there that I need. I double click to copy down and it does that for me. To find out the retail price, I would need to add the price to the markup amount and I get my retail price. Now you can do, you can get to this answer without having to work out the markup amount. If you didn't want this column that shows the profit, you just want to get straight to this answer. Uh, let's, well, let's do it here first of all. So if I got rid of the cells, let's just get rid of that column and get rid of those. Now, essentially to increase a value by 47%, you've got to multiply the value by 147%, 100 being the original amount, 100% of the original amount, plus the extra 47. So the way to do this in a formula would be to say, take the 25 and multiply it by one plus the 47%. And you can see it gives me the correct answer. Now this one is a decimal equivalent of 100%. So I could write 100% in and it would be the same thing. But it's much easier just to type on one. So that's how that works. Copy it down, you can see I get the right answer. Another way of expressing that formula would be to say, take the value and add 20, 47% of the value. So what I'm going to do, because of the bod mass rule, because of the order of calculations, I'll have to do the multiplication first. So I'll work out what 47% of £25 is, and then it'll add it back to the £25. And that gives me exactly the same answer. So you can either do 1 plus the 47%, or you can use this method to do the calculation. Let's look at another example where we'd have to use that. So I've got £73,838 achieved last year, and I need to create a sales target by increasing this value by 12%. So my two methods are, I can say this value times one plus the target increase, one being 100%, which gives me the right answer. Or I can say this plus this times the 12%. Now it looks as though you're doubling up your value here, but you're not because the order of calculations in maths does multiplication before addition and it gives you the correct answer. Now, if you were discounting, 
So for example, if this was discount rather than uh, working out a markup, then formulas are very, very similar. So you would say this times, open bracket, one minus the discount amount. Because if you're giving a 47% discount on 25 pounds, the remaining amount is 53%. So you've got to essentially multiply the 25 pounds by 53%. So one, 100% minus 47% would give you the 53%. Similarly, I could use the other method. I could say this minus this times 47%. So it does this bit first, find out what 47% of 25 pounds is, and then subtracts it from the 25 pounds. And that gives me the same answers. Okay, so next example, we've got two years worth of sales, and I need to work out the percentage difference between the sales. So an easy way to do this is to first of all work out what the difference is. So it would be sales 2016 minus sales 2015, which would give you your difference. And then the percentage difference would be the difference divided by the initial year's sales 2015. If I copy that down, that will give me my percentage difference. Okay, so you work out the difference and then the percentage difference. Obviously, you could put this all in one cell if you wanted to. So essentially, that would be, instead of M4, you'd have this minus this, which would need to go in brackets, because otherwise the division will be done first and then divided by K4, the initial year sales. So use that formula if you don't want to work out the difference in another column. Okay. Now the other type of percentage calculation you might want to do is with VAT. Now, if I have a VAT amount up here, let's re let me put it in as a value. And say it's 20%. So if I want to add VAT to this, then I'd take the 25 pounds and I times it by one plus the 20%, one plus the VAT amount. Now, because I'm referring to that cell and I'm gonna be copying down, I'm gonna to need to fix that cell reference so that when I copy down, it still refers to it. Copy that down and it works out the price including VAT. Sorry, I've done this the wrong way around. So if this was price excluding VAT, this would be price including VAT. The heading was wrong. Okay, and you can see it's added VAT. Now, if you haven't got the VAT in a the cell there and you wanted to hard code the value in, not recommended in Excel, but sometimes you do. So you would say 1.2, VAT is 20%, so you need to multiply it by 120%, or 1.2, that will give you the same answer. Or if you prefer, you can say 120%. That'd be the same thing. It's better though to refer to a value in a sheet, in a cell, so one plus the 20%, fixing it with their four, putting the dollars in, that's the better way to go. Now, last one. If you want to remove that from an answer, from a value. So this is the value including VAT, and I want to take the VAT off. Then you divide by 1.2 if you're hard coding it in. I would remove the VAT, or you could say divide by one plus the VAT amount. If you've got it in a cell, you need to fix it. And that would do the same thing. That removes the VAT. Okay, so hopefully some useful uh, percentage examples there that will clear up any misunderstandings that you have. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.